Hello guys, welcome to Adkanj and I am Rakesh Kapoor and in this video we are going to talk about amount field for Elementor Pro forms. So in order to use the amount field you need to install dynamic content for Elementor plugin. If you haven't downloaded that plugin you can check out the link in the description and download the plugin right away. That's a very cool plugin. Uh, it gives you power to enhance your website. There are a couple of uh, you know great extensions and widgets that you can use and enhance the productivity of your website it gives you enormous control on your website there are tons of widgets that you can use and uh, it will greatly affect the user experience of your website for sure so just to continue this video i am going to use elementary pro form so i am just dragging and drop the form widget in my section now amount is a field type right so it uses expressions so i will just turn this message into amount right and let me change this to total amount now let's suppose for this example i am going to create a you know payment gateway where people can choose the products and products have values and uh, and in one field person can choose one product so select method or select field and then we will uh, get the invoice or whatever right so just to use this you can also use paypal right and you can use paypal in your uh, redirect form and then you can use request query parameter i have also made a tutorial on that you can check out the tutorial i will leave a link in the description or you can also check out from the cards and uh, i am not using paypal for now but you can use this uh, as as a sequence to this tutorial but for now let me just show you the select field method to product one i will use here and placeholder I can use choose product and in here I can use product 2 placeholder choose product and it's a select field and this 2 is a select field right and field id is product 1 and here field id is product 2 right now we have two products now let us just add some content in our products like uh, orange well let's uh, we have price 30 for orange and grapes we have price 40 for that okay two are okay now let's add some products into this one as well uh, for example laptop let's size it 30,000 and let's use camera and let's size it 40,000 and let's use a smartphone and let's size it 25,000 cool uh, the pricing will not be shown as as it is a value we can hide the labels from here and we need to count those two amounts in the amount field so what we need to do we need to use some expressions so here is our form field one you can copy the short code right here and just use it here and use the plus icon and then choose the write the second one so now you have this one wonderful now it's adding the values so when you change it it will dynamically change the values right and you can send them in an email or in a message or you can also hide this amount field and you can send them invoice so this is how amount field works you can get all the amount expressions in the documentation 
help.dynamic.o you can search amount and you will get amount field element to perform here you can find all the details about this all the expressions that you can use right so this is how it works i hope you enjoyed this video please subscribe to our channel for watching more videos like this hit the bell icon so you don't miss any new video till then bye bye and have a wonderful day